just sit there and shut up. This ain't no democracy. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. This is the United States. Your ass belong to me. They don't give a damn about you. They don't like you. I don't like you. Nobody likes you. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. We are extremely online on this program. We're in the news and politics business. And nothing really slips by us. And so if you were to ask me to make an encyclopedic list of the most humiliating moments in American politics over the last 10 years, I'd be able to do it for you. And near the top of the list, you'd be shocked to find, would not be Joe Biden. Near the top of the list would actually be a Republican running against Donald Trump, a man named Jeb Bush, who at a event where a bunch of people packed into a room in order to cheer him on, apparently Jeb Bush fans, he had to ask them, beg them, in fact, to please clap for him. Quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> That's famous. Jeb Bush is still called Mr. Please Clap. And uh, well, it's just totally embarrassing when a bunch of people gather in a room in order to support you and they have to be told to clap for you. It doesn't say a lot about you, actually. Nobody ever has to do that for Donald Trump, but people do have to do that for somebody in the executive halls of power, somebody named Kamala Harris. As she enters the room. Hello, <laughs> you can clap, it's okay. <laughs> And still they don't clap. Nope. We're going to have a conversation, Mayor. How is good to be with you? Nobody clapped. You're literally there. There's the White House seal on the wall. Nobody clapped. You're literally in the White House. This is allegedly the vice president of the United States. And nobody clapped for her, even when told to please clap. So what does that say about Kamala Harris? When your invited guests don't even show up or clap for you, well, it means you have a clapping problem, something that, well, Kamala Harris, if you study her history, you you wouldn't think she had a problem with that. But lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, the clapping problem persists for Kamala Harris. Embarrassing moment as Kamala Harris claps along and smiles to protesters in Puerto Rico before the vice president is told that they were what they were actually saying. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? Vice President awkwardly stops clapping to a song after it was translated to her. Came during a trip to Puerto Rico on Friday where singers targeted Kamala Harris, President Joe Biden, the administration's foreign policies. Long live free Palestine and Haiti too, they sang, while telling Kamala Harris to get off their island. The song went like this. We want to know, Kamala, what did you come to do? We want to know, Kamala, what is going to happen? Kamala Harris literally clapped along to that music. Oh, baby, it's just too good. Here's the clip, it's so painful. Watch this. Here's where they, here's where they, here's where she gets it translated for her. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, they're saying to go f off. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at the moment. Look at the moment where Kamala. They're 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 telling you to go f yourself. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's nice. Ah. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, the, the, the humiliation never ends. Kamala Harris roasted after she claps along to protest song after realizing they're protesting her. This is from uh, the, the Independent, the English. This is international humiliation. Kamala Harris claps to Puerto Rico protest song stops once aid translates what they're actually singing. A swan, san, san Juan band called out Vice President Kamala Harris. And humiliated her. Look, <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, and here's the moment. 
Here's the moment where she found out what was going on. This is the moment where she, this is the moment where Kamala Harris actually actually she she found out. Okay, this is this is the face she made. Look at this face. What the hell is this? The lizard people have to get better at their cost. You have to get better skin suits, people. This is not this is it, Joe Joe Biden is more convincing than this skin suit. It looks like this. Looks like you, you ever see Men, uh, Men in Black? Looks like that scene in Men in Black. <gasps> is this better? <sighs> oh man. So embarrassing. What is going on? Kamala Harris clapping like a complete moron along to a song trolling her, clapping like a seal. Watch carefully the awkward moment when her aide tells her what they're saying. We want to know, Kamala, what do you come here for? We want to know what you think of the colony. These people obviously uh, wanted Kamala Harris to leave and want uh, Puerto Rico to be a state, so on. Uh, and the translation of the lyrics is really funny. Somebody outside the event had signs saying Kamala Harris is a war criminal. Kamala continued to embarrass America. She is a moron. Kamala Harris is the dumbest person on the planet. <laughs> Kamala's new Veep episode every single day. Uh, Kamala Harris in Puerto Rico got trolled by a protest. <laughs> That's pretty. This is pretty good. <laughs> That's, that is good. When you're dumb as a bag of hammers, a Kamala Harris translator tells you that people are singing that they don't like you and are protesting against you. Kamala went to Puerto Rico yesterday to pander as Biden grapples with record low Latino support as she gets epically trolled. Kamala dances along to Puerto Rico pro-independent song protesting her visit. Uh, not the only time, obviously, that Kamala Harris has humiliated herself while dancing. Kamala Harris is one heartbeat away from the presidency. Today is the 50th anniversary of hip hop, and this is what Kamala Harris was doing. There you go. This is your, these are your leaders here, ladies and gentlemen. Are you sure? You sure about that? You sure about that, Kamala? You sure? What like what exactly are these dance moves? And are like is Kamala Harris partying with? All of the uh, hundreds of thousands of black men that she imprisoned on marijuana charges in California, you know, because that's like actually a thing. Kamala Harris hip hop party. Okay, there you go. This is better. George Soros and uh, <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> okay, priorities. Kamala Harris threw a party at her house. Big time border czar memes here. Big time border border czar vibes. Marie Antoinette vibes here. Uh, what is Kamala Harris doing? She's visiting Puerto Rico. We do not have an immigration problem from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is an American territory. We have a, a, a problem on the border, and it is a full-blown crisis. An important reminder when uh, Kamala Harris, the dumbest person to ever hold uh, public office, uh, said that she hasn't been to the border, but she also hasn't been to Europe, okay? So get your facts straight, Jack. We put a button. Okay. Do you have any plans? To visit the border. I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. Uh, I'm not discounting the importance of the border. Well, I, I mentioned oh it because you, I, I know Republicans have certainly come at you on this, but Democratic Congressman Cuellar has a border district has said to the, you and the president, come. You need, I care you need to see about this. this. And I care about what's happening at the border. Do you really? Do you? Do you really? Because it seems like you care more about partying up as a post-menopausal loser, like a freaky, creepy auntie loser, and dancing like a hyena at your mansion. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are all in good hands. Reminder, Kamala Harris couldn't even get through a Spanish language uh, television interview with a friendly reporter. I'm going to go to the border. And I, when are you going to the border, the Vice President? The administration has asked, I'm not finished. <laughs> I've said I'm going to the border. 
Mm, okay, very prickly. Very, very prickly, like the cactuses on the border. Kamala Harris, of course, is the only person on Joe Biden's schedule today. That's quite interesting. Biden spent all weekend on vacation in Delaware. He's back at the Oval. He only has lunch with Kamala on the schedule today. What are they talking about? Lunch with Kamala. Well, I guess we will find out. Horrors untold, ladies and gentlemen. Horrors untold are also the uh, Kamala Harris cringe reel that we've come up with on our program. If you've watched this far, well, maybe you're in for some more pain. Well, the press is here. <laughs> I got some words. I got the vocabulary. And my pronunciation is perfect. <laughs> Don't hear no. I eat no for breakfast. Don't hear no. <laughs> Always believe in what can be, unburdened by what has been. Oh, I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> I love Venn diagrams. I'm telling you, whenever I'm facing like a conflict and I need to sort it out, give me a Venn diagram every day of the week, right? I will tell you, I love this G -Zen, Gen Z generation. I, they are so spectacular. First of all, let me say, Joe, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you since you were at my house a couple weeks ago for our hip-hop party. <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> Anthony, huge fan, mad respect for you. And Alexander, I can't wait to see you at the White House one day very soon. <laughs>